Do you know how does Google Pay work in India? Without adding Pay, you are able to do transactions in fraction of seconds. Whenever you register yourself on Google Pay or any UPI application, the information gets transferred onto NPCI server, which is National Payment Corporation of India. It stores your information, your IFSC code, your bank details, and generates a unique virtual payment address. You have would have seen Sanjit at the rate OKICIC, Yes Bank, and other such formats. Those are like virtual payment address of yours, which is stored in MPCI database. Now, whosoever has registered themselves on MPCI through different platforms like Google Pay, Phone Pay, etc., etc., have got their virtual payment address linked to your phone number. Now, let's see a user wants to send Rs. 500 to its dear friend by the phone number. What's going to happen in the background? It will log in into Google Pay, enter the receiver's details and the call will then go on to the NPCI server with the VPA of the sender. The NPCI server will then check its database to see whether it's a legitimate call from a valid UPI holder or not. It will extract the details of its bank. Assume in this case, it comes out to be ICIC bank. It will reach the IFSC code and the bank account number of the sender. It will go and ask the ICIC bank whether that person has enough money left in its account or not. ICIC bank says, yes, the money is there. Then it will log this amount, 500, temporarily till the time the transaction is not complete. The NPCI server gets notified that the information is valid, the amount is there. It then checks the receiver's VPA, which is a virtual payment address linked to its phone number. It will extract the bank details. Assume it goes to the ICIC bank for it. It lands on the ICIC bank and checks whether it's active or not. ICIC bank says, yes, it's still active. Then NPCI server will perform an IMPS operation instantaneously between ICIC bank and Exis bank to debit the money from here, 500 rupees, and credit it over here. This is how transaction is completed and both the parties are notified about this.